Welcome to the Who Hurt Your Podcast, episode one. I'm your host, Louis B. I'm going to be uh, talking about relationships that, you know, the bullshit that men have to go through while dating and marriage and all that. And the reason why I named this podcast uh, Who Hurt You, it's because that is the question that's always asked whenever a man criticizes how women treat men in the dating world. It's like for a man to react to some of the shit we go through is we, we're not allowed to react. We're not allowed to have feelings. We're not allowed to be hurt because if we show any type of pain for what is done to us, it is immediately made fun of It's viewed as weak. I mean, I was watching a TikTok and um, there was they had a man, a, a man and a woman, and one, uh, the interviewer asked the girl first, "Oh, so what kind of guy are you looking for? And what kind of guy you find attractive?" And she's like, "Oh, you know, tall, dark, skinny, you know, blah blah blah, you know, all the physical traits." The guy essentially says the same exact thing and she turns around and is like, hey, that's body shaming. That's wrong. And he goes, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said the same thing you did. How come it's okay for you but wrong for me? And she goes, well, boys don't have feelings. What the fuck? That's why I started the Who Hurt You podcast. And yes, there is no shame. Like it's trauma It's all trauma and, and it does affect people Constantly getting your ass handed to you Simply because You want to meet somebody You want to ha- find someone That you're going to spend the rest of your life with It doesn't give anyone the right To treat you like shit But the thing is We live in a society where You know women are Honestly out for revenge For some reason I mean I'm sorry I have nothing to do With what happened in 1870 To your great great grandmother When your great great grandfather Was whooping her ass For getting the meat pies wrong That's that's not on me I'm not in for that system I'm not trying to create A handmaid's tale You want to work? Fine You want to earn the same thing? Fine Yes, beautiful, yes you know, but that doesn't give you the right for you to take out whatever happened to you in the past on me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of men have gone through this where women don't know how revenge works. Men do not have a hive mind. If you hurt one of us, you just hurt the one of us. It doesn't like translate wirelessly to to other men it's like oh ow 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 i'm sorry i'm sorry for cheating that's just just not how that shit works but this podcast i'm going to be going through the through the stuff that i've went through and the lessons i've learned along the way and hopefully this will help others i will be at some point doing this show live so that way i can get people to call in or if people want to call in I could have them just interview them and talk about everything under the sun. I mean, have you guys noticed how it's perfectly okay to bash men? I mean, everything gets called childish. Any interest that we might have is shamed. Anything we do is shamed. Anything we think up is shamed. Every every aspect of our lives are shamed. Because it does not serve a woman. Like, you know, they in the media, they will make fun of uh, the Star Wars geek or the Star Trek geek. Why? Because having those interests does not serve a woman. It does not help her get the bag, secure the bag, as it were. Because... Broke boys can't get no kitty. I know that's right. Fuck you, Cardi B, you fucking rapist. You should be sitting next to a fucking jail cell next to Bill Cosby. Anyways, I see, and that's the shit that I don't, that's the shit that bothers the fuck out of me. She could admit to rape and drugging motherfuckers, and nothing happens. 
Everyone's like, ha ha, what? You know, it's the guy's fault. Like, ha ha, what's he doing trying to get sex? What's he trying to do trying to date? It's like, okay, you keep telling us that, okay, we're wrong for trying to date, trying to date women. We are wrong for following our, our biological imperative in, in having sex. We're wrong. Oh, you need to control that. You need to control that. Or else we open ourselves up for murder, drugging, any type of crime, to be a victim of a crime. And we just not, we're not viewed as victims. We're not victims as men. No matter what is done to us, it's like, what, 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 what the fuck were you doing talking to somebody? What the fuck were you doing trying to get to know somebody? It's like it, the responsibility and the actions of others always fall on a man's lap. And that's really not fair because, hey, there are certain things that are out of a man's control. I can only control with what I can do. So, which is why I'm against cheating I'm against abusing a woman. If you feel like you have to hit a woman or curse her out, she's not the one for you. It's time for you to go. I mean, don't curse her out. Don't don't hit her. But if you have that feeling that she's aggravating you to that level, leave. She's not the one. But, you know, but you have these women that will push you to do that. They'll be like, hit me, hit me, motherfucker, hit me. Knowing that it is socially unacceptable to hit a woman. So they'll do this shit and they will square up with you like they are grown ass men themselves. Knowing full well you can't hit them back. I mean that's starting to change because especially when you have women that are hitting men that are not their significant others. Like, I mean, I, I would like to, I would, I would argue that women are more abusive than men because they know the rules and they use it against us or they'll do the shit where they'll, they'll do something wild buns oh crazy and shit. And then the moment you get pissed off, you raise your voice. She calls in an airstrike on you. Like she'll call up her cousins, her her uncles, her brothers to come kick your ass because you raised your voice because she decided to like rip up your shit or do something like wild bang out of order. Bang out of order. But you can't react. You're not allowed to react. And that's the type of shit I'm going to be talking about on this podcast. Where hopefully, you know, you'll learn how to stay away from these types of people. Um, I'm going to be, but I mean, I host, I host another podcast called the crotch shot radio show, but, um, you know, I figure I'd start a podcast that's more geared towards this one subject. Um, yeah, because, I mean, women, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, where have all the good women gone? Yippee-yi, yippee So, I don't know. Where where have they gone? Oh, wait. No, they're already married. They're already married. <laughs> That's where all the good women went. I mean, I think I think there is a time limit so, to, uh, to when men get married and... And is marriage even a good deal? Is is marriage a raw deal for men? I mean, that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm, of course, going to be talking about single mothers. I have plenty of experience dealing with single mothers uh, in my past. Just, you know, dating dating two of them, actually. And, you know, you, you tend to you run into them a lot these days because... I, I don't know. I don't know why you run into a lot of single mothers. Like once you pass the age of twenty six, there's a meme, and and I've I I seen it to be true that if you want to meet somebody, you either have to uh, settle for a single mother, an ugly chick, or just stay single. That's 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 who you end up with. 
because after 26, well, the good girls are already taken, and I'm already, I'm already 37, so it's like, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta start thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna do the hookup shit, <laughs> fuck this dating crap, um, and that's another thing I'm gonna be talking about, I'm gonna be talking about uh, spending so much money on a date because of the whole entitlement women have. Um, how they overvalue themselves. Uh, so the single mothers overvaluing themselves. These TikTok, these TikTok hoes, these OnlyFans hoes, these Snapchat hoes, uh, hoes in general. I'm gonna be going through that. I'm gonna be talking about how every woman has a price. No matter what, I'm gonna be breaking that down. Every woman has a price, <clears throat> which means every woman's a hoe. I'm going to be talking about that um, I'm basically going to be Going deeper and uh, Deeper and harder mm-hmm. When it comes to Dating women Dating Because basically it's true Women love to hurt men They love it They love it They think it's they, It thinks it gives them power Women are empowered By the stupidest shit and that's another episode I, I'm going to talk about uh, How women are empowered They get empowered by stupid shit And honestly the more I think about it The more women shouldn't vote <laughs> Women should not be in positions of power Again that's another thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into it's, I'm going to be misogynistic That's it That's just, that's just a warning I'm just going to be a misogynist And I'm just going to base it in reality Because honestly There is a term Cannot understand Normal thinking Most women cannot Understand normal Thinking And because everything is About feelings The obvious answer The obvious answer To a problem would be wrong to a woman because it doesn't feel right. I don't want to do that. I don't like that. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's the only thing to do. Ah, oh, you just don't want to help me. Like, huh? They speak an entirely different language, so that way they could just be superior. They want to act so superior. And you have people like Farty B, um, Megan the Stallion with two E's because her parents are smart. Uh, wouldn't it be Megan the Philly? I don't know. It's just, uh, all right, whatever. Whatever. I don't like rap, anyways. Fuck it. It's just. Honestly, the last classy woman in urban music is Aaliyah. What well, was Aaliyah? I think she don't succeed. Dust yourself off and try again. She was classy and sexy. Oh goodness. Why why does she have to die and fucking Cardi B, Megan the Stallion are fucking alive? That's just some bullshit. But um That's the thing. I'm gonna be talking about classy women. I'm going to be honoring classy women. Women that have certain traits that we all should be looking for. And honestly, I'm, I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna go easy on us guys either. There's shit that we need to fix as as a gender. And honestly, one of the things is stop giving these chicks attention. Even even if they don't find you attractive, they thrive off of male attention. And and the funny thing is, they want male attention, but they complain about it the most. They, that's what they complain about the most. Like street her and they call it street harassment. Yeah, it they get validation from it. So my thing is stop stop saying hello, stop talking to them. Ignore their asses when they're passing by. They don't wanna they don't want attention, don't give it to them. Don't give them none of the attention. Don't compliment how they look. Even if she's your wife, don't compliment her how she looks. Fuck it. If she's your girlfriend, don't compliment how she looks. She's going to cheat on you anyway. She's not going to appreciate shit. That's just their nature. They don't appreciate a damn thing. 
Another thing I'm going to go into is how women um, will make you pay for what the last dude did to her. They will make your life a living hell for what the last dude did. So I'm going to, that's one episode I'm going to do. I'm also going to be talking about the shit tests. The shit test, how women do that, how they get over it, and how to, how to get past it. And I'm also going to be bringing some comedy. I'm going to bring the jokes uh, with every episode that, that I come up with that I release. So that way we're all having fun. We're learning. We are laughing. And I'm going to integrate you guys, whoever listens to this podcast. Um, pretty soon we're going to, again, I'm going to end up doing it live on a specific day. Where people could call in I will have guests on That come on To help with relationships Advice and stuff like that But um, We just It just needs a, We need a podcast For us guys Where we could like Discuss The shortcomings of women And it not being Misogynistic I mean yeah You know what Fuck it You know it, it, It's gonna get class. This podcast is gonna get classified As Misan, uh, misangis, misogynistic, probably you say a fucking word, misogynistic, anyways, because women don't want to be held accountable for anything because they're victims, they're victims. I'm oh, I'm definitely gonna be going into false rape allegations, uh, paternity fraud, all, all that lovely stuff. So, if you guys got a topic you want me to talk about, uh, Hit me up at crotchshotradio at yahoo.com. That's crotchshotradio at yahoo.com. I'll be coming up with a new email soon. But, um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next episode, the first real episode of Who Hurt You?